Okay, so lesson 89 is on estimating square roots. So here we have the square root of a large number, 400. When I have a number this large, I want to look for some clues that will help me figure out what the answer is. Well, first, I know that the square root of 400 has to be bigger than 10 because 10 squared is equal to 100, and 400 is a lot bigger than, two, one, than 100. So I know it has to be greater than 10. So now we're going to try to find some other clues. Well, if I look at the first number here, the first number is a 4, and then I have zeros after it. Well, I know that the square root of 4 is equal to 2. So if my number has to be greater than 10, and there's probably a 2 in it, I'm going to, be, I'm going to try 20 and see if 400 is the square root of 20. This is really up to guessing and checking. And it's easiest to do that by 10s and 5s first. So I'm going to try um, 20. So I'm going to do 20 times 20. 0 times 0 is 0, of course. 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 2 is 4. That means that the square root of 40 is equal to 20. Okay. Now in this one, we have the square root of 625. So again, I'm going to look for clues. And one of my clues is this 5 here at the end. Okay. So with that 5, I'm going to say, well, to get a 5, I usually have to multiply by a 5. So I'm probably going to have a 5 somewhere in my answer. And then I'm going to look back at what I know. Well, I know that the square root of 400 is 20. So that means that the square root of 625 has to be greater than 20. So with that and seeing this 5, I'm going to try 25. See if the square root of 625 is equal to 25. So to do that, I'm going to do 25 times 25. 5 times 5 is 25. Carry my 2. 5 times 2 is 5, plus 2 is 12. 0. 2 times 5 is 10. Carry my 1. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. Add those together. 5, 2, 6. So yes, the square root of 625 is equal to 25. Okay. Now if you can't find any clues, then you can just go ahead and try some different numbers. So you can try 30 okay, and see if that works. You can try, we already did 20, we know that that's um, 400. So you just keep trying different numbers till you find the correct answer. So now this next one is between which two consecutive num whole numbers is the square root of 20. Now the square root of 20 is not a whole number. It's going to be some kind of a decimal and it's going to be a decimal that doesn't end. So in this case, when we have a number like this, we're going to find about which two numbers the square root of 20 fits between, okay? Because it'll be in between two numbers or so. So when we look as we do, uh, so let's try 4 squared. So we know that 4 squared is equal to 16. So the next one would be 5 squared. 5 squared is equal to 25. So 20 is in between 16 and 25. So my answer would be between 4 and 5. Okay. Now you might think... Well, what about 4.5? Does, does it equal 4.5? Well, let's go ahead and square 4.5. 5 times 5 is 25. Carry my 2. 5 times 4 is 20, plus 2 is 22. 0. 4 times 5 is 20. Carry my 2. 4 times 4 is 16, 17, 18. Add those up, so I get 5, 2... 20, okay, my 1, 10, 20, in two decimal places. So 4.5 squared is not equal to 20. It's actually equal to 20.25. So we're not going to figure out what the actual square root is without a calculator. This is called an irrational number because it doesn't end and it's not a whole number. So on this one, the square root of 70 is in between which two numbers? So I'm going to try to figure out, well, what could it be? So let's try some simple numbers. Now, these ones will probably be smaller, so I'm going to try, uh, let's try 7 squared, and let's try 8 squared. Okay. 
So 7 times 7 is equal to 50, 50, sorry, 49. And 8 times 8 is equal to 64. So we're going to see, well, 70 is not in between these two numbers, so it can't be this one, can't be 7. So let's try 9 times 9. Well, 9 times 9 is 81. So that means that 70 is between 64 and, 7, and, and 81. So my answer, I'm going to write it to say 8 and 9. So the square root of 70 is somewhere in between 8 and 9. Okay, and that's all. Good luck on your homework.